and um, we've got most of the work done right now, and we're, we got all the bolts out and the nuts and the transmission cover. And we're um, going to pull off the hogs out of the transmission, this whole big cover here. So I guess I'll give it a go. <laughs> Hasn't been moved. Jeez, well, let me get a. See if I can try and wedge it. One trick is to uh, push on the uh, low speed pedal. Sometimes that'll break. Too. Not gonna this time. No, that's on there. There goes part of the gasket. There she goes. Okay, why don't you uh, explain a little bit of what we're looking at. So you see we have this holder in here now, but there's three bands in the transmission. Reverse, low, um, brake, which stops the whole assembly. And then we have this stack of clutches here for high. And you push in the low pedal to start off, and that squeezes that. Oop, there, there goes that band. <laughs> That's okay. Um, it'll squeeze that drum and put it in low. And then when you lift that out, there's a cam and it, um, an arm, and it pushes that clutch out, and it basically the whole rotating assembly spins. So it's basically a direct drive. And then you got um, your reverse here, and you have a lever, and you or you push the pedal, and you hold the transmission in what they call neutral, sort of an in between. And then you can squeeze the reverse pedal, and then it'll go in reverse, and then you got the brake. So you can to go to a complete stop, you put it in neutral, and then squeeze the brake. You got your magneto here on the flywheel too, so that's what generates power once your engine's running. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah. What's next? Pretty good. Well, we're going to change the bands on the transmission, and then to put the engine in the car, we're going to leave this off because I say it's easier to get in. So then, once it's in the car, we'll put the transmission cover back on and everything. Right so there. <laughs>